online seminar in front of you all. Before moving forward towards my slide, I would like to address my commentator, Mr. Ram Sobhi Yadav, sir. Uh, my convener, Mr. Sundar Sreshka, sir. I also like to thank all of my friends who are present here in my seminar today. Without any delay, let's start with the content, which is comprised of introduction, objectives, significance of the study, followed by literature review, health benefits of yogurt, and then conclusions. Starting with the introduction part, milk has a unique nutritional value and significant impact on both human and animal health. Uh, amongst all of the milk out there, preferably cow, buffalo, and goat milk, cow is the most significant because it has a lot of biological value, it is highly nutritious, and can also be used for the preparation of multiple type of dairy products that adds diversification in human diet as well as human nutrition, which is the most important concern. Here we can see the picture of the cow in the slide. Buffalo milk, it tastes, tastes richer than cow milk and can also be utilized for the preparation of multiple types of dairy products similar to that of cow milk. Again, here we can see the picture of a smiling buffalo in the slide. Now goats. Goats are commonly referred to as poor man's cow and its milk is very nutritious, producing higher protein content and smaller fat group will making it more digestible for people, particularly while dealing with lactose intolerance issue. Just my lactose intolerance issue. Here we can see the picture of the happy goat in the slide. Continuing with the introduction part, milk fermentation is the process where the milk is allowed to ferment with lactic acid bacteria. Yogurt is a fermented milk product that is prepared when the lactose, the substrate in the milk is anaerobically fermented by appropriate microorganisms, the majority of which are probiotics. Here we can see the brown cow whole milk yogurt in the slide, followed by the display of different types of yogurt that are found in the market. Market for fermented milk is growing substantially these days because people are being more aware about their health and when a person knows that we can get health benefits from a product out here, the demand for the product eventually rises, which helps in fostering of the market and eventually that increases the per capita income. The global cultured milk market size was valued at US dollar 330.62 million in the year 2022. Let's move forward towards the objectives of this study. To know the difference between nutritional and physical chemical parameters of cow, buffalo, and goat milk, to evaluate and present the nutritional importance of goat milk, which is less considered in the context of the cow. As all of us are familiar with the fact that in every society, the goats are reared only for the meat purpose and not for the milk purpose. Here, I want to clarify people. An objective of my study is to make all understand that goat milk has a lot of significance, nutritional significance, similar to that of cow and buffalo milk, and sometimes even higher than that of it. So, if we can extract our two advantages out of the single animal, then why should we meet ourselves? Let's move forward towards the significance of this study. This study can help understand the nutritional significance of goat milk over cow milk and buffalo milk. This study can help understand the potential of goat milk for use in dairy product, particularly due to lower allergenicity. Because most of the people who have been found to be allergic with cow milk have been found to be not allergic to goat milk. Especially, the cow milk contains alpha as one casein protein particles in higher amount, which is a lower amount in case of goat milk, and that is considered to be the most important allergic factor. Increase the rearing and utilization of goat. It is currently reared in Nepal only for the meat. To assess, to assess the appropriate kind of daily product to consume based upon one's health condition. And basically, is consuming the product that goes well with the digestive system. Let's enter into the literature review, the yogurt biochemical variations. The fermentative pathway for the preparation of yogurt is carried out by different bacteria. These are lactic acid bacteria, lactobacillus tolbrichi, subspecies bulgaricus, and streptococcus formophytus. Here we can see in the slide, starter addition in milk and that's a typical way of preparation of yogurt in Nepalese household. Above mentioned lactic acid bacteria, they do not compete with each other. Rather, they uh, foster the effect of one another and convert the substrate that is lactose present in the milk into lactic acid that is required for the preparation of yogurt. Let's discuss about milk. Here we can see the market milk in the slide. The lacteal discharge of the mammary gland in milk animal is known as milk and has a lot of biological value. Liposoluble vitamins are basically fat soluble vitamins A, B, and E, and then the hydrosoluble, that's water soluble vitamins B complex and C, are included in the vitamin profile of milk. 
But however, low fat milk and skim milk contains lower amount of vitamins so that in different nations, vitamin fortification is carried out to increase its nutritional value. Now cow milk. Bovine milk is a nutritionally rich chemically complex body food consisting of different types of uh, different uh, consisting of hundreds of different components. Here we can see a man carrying out hand milking of cow. Bovine milk it generally contains following macronutrients as well as it contains numerous bioactive components but at the micronutrient level. Five animal species are found for the majority of world's milk production, amongst which the cow holds the greatest accountability and gets 83% Let's discuss about buffalo milk. After cows, buffaloes provide the second largest amount of milk in the world. Here we can see a woman carrying out hand milking of buffalo. Compared with cow milk, buffalo milk has higher amount of fat, food, protein, vitamins and minerals which imparts a very rich flavor and taste in milk as well as the products prepared out of the buffalo milk. Along with that, the yogurt and cheeses that are prepared from buffalo milk has a very big consistency so that it is not required for us to add uh, additional proteins or jolly items from outside and that can be proved to be more economical. Now let's enter into goat milk. Here we can see a woman carrying out hand milking of goat. That's the traditional way of milking. The composition, nutritional value, and medicinal properties of goat milk differ from those of cow and human milk. Goat milk has lower amount of vitamin D, covalamin, that's vitamin D12, but it includes larger amount of calcium, magnesium, and phosphorus that is required for the growth and development of neonates as well as the fully developed man and animal. For individuals with a wide range of illness, there are three fatty acids that are found in goat milk. That's capric, caproic, and capric acid. That has a lot of therapeutic benefits, as well as this fatty acid helps impart a very unique flavor in goat milk. And maybe most of uh, us know about it because few months, or few months ago, maximum students of this class had suffered from dengue and maybe they were compelled to drink uh, goat milk raw, as well as cook, and I was one of them. And it actually helped to calm down the dengue fever, as well as help to increase the platelet count, so it's uh, practically approved, and it had a unique flavor as well. Now let's enter into starter culture. Lactic acid bacteria are abundant in starter culture which can lead to <coughs> acidification of milk. Starting cultures are usually generated in dedicated starting culture facilities and for yogurt production, thermophilic cultures are generally used. Here we can see the picture of the starting cultures in the slide. Now let's learn about types of yogurt. Here I have mentioned about all different five types of yogurt. So we can learn about them thoroughly. Set type yogurt, steep type yogurt, and then the drinking type yogurt. Here we can see the picture of different types of yogurt that are found in market. Let's continue with the type of yogurt. Two of them are left, frozen yogurt and the dry yogurt. Again, here we can see the picture of different types of yogurt that are found in market. Let's enter into the health benefits of yogurt. Here we can see the picture of a healthy child in the background. Let's start with the first one. Yogurt is one of the daily bread of that improves the nutrition requirements such as recommended daily allowances RDS for each nutrient. Probiotics, as I've already mentioned, that are present in yogurt have been demonstrated to have therapeutic benefits, including the prevention of urogenital infection, constipation, diarrhea, newborn diarrhea, hypercholesterolemia, colon or bladder cancer, and osteoporosis, that's basically thinning of bones or decreasing the mineral density of bones. One serving of 50 grams of yogurt supplies 41 percent of the daily calcium requirement hmm? for a five years old child. We are towards the end of the presentation, so let's enter into conclusion. I have mentioned all six conclusions in my slide. So starting with the conclusion number one, which states, cow, buffalo, and goat milk are all full of proteins. Stated differently, they encompass all nine vital amino acid reward percentages of energy, mending of tissue, and development of muscle. Hearing to this conclusion, here we can see a happy picture of the cow in the slide. Conclusion number two. Due to lower allergenicity and great nutritional significance, goat milk has a great potential for use in daily freedom. Conclusion number three. Because buffalo milk has more fat and asana, the yogurt made from buffalo milk has the greatest body and consistency score, while the yogurt made from goat milk has the lowest. Continuing with the conclusion, let's get into conclusion number four. Goat milk yogurts are filled with billions of probiotics and are rich in key minerals like calcium and protein. They are also less processed than plant-based yogurt and more digestible than cow and buffalo milk yogurt. Again, you're into this conclusion. Here's a picture of a goat with fat. <laughs> conclusion number five. 
Yogurt samples made with goat milk are less viscous and have a softer consistency than ones made with cow and buffalo milk. The last one, conclusion number six, goat milk contains uh, fat globules that are typically smaller than those in cows and buffalo's milk and form smaller soft glucose that are easily uh, digested in our body and also has to release energy more quickly into our body. So that's the end of my presentation. Thank you so much.